Hi, my name is Benny Kirk. I'm a uh, volunteer at the Austin Steam Train Association. I've been asked to uh, give a uh, tour of the generator car, and to give a tour of the generator car, we've got to start with the Maurice Beckham generator. This is the generator that is running all the silver cars right now, and it is loaded to its maximum capacity, so much so that all the smoke and sparks came out of it a year ago and we had to rebuild. To prevent it from uh, releasing the smoke and sparks again, we bought a brand new or brand new used generator that we took off of a locomotive. We're rebuilding it and putting it in a generator car. We talked about the Maurice Beckham and the generator in there. It had about 120-140 kW capability. What we pulled out of the nose of an old locomotive is this K19. Uh, K is the series, 19 is it's a 19 liter engine with six cylinders. It's good for a little over 400 kW. So now we have four times the amount of power. This thing will mostly run idle. We have to run it up high every once in a while to blow the soot out. These two cabinets came with it. One of them is the uh, control system that runs the generator. The other is the one that has the main switch that turns the uh, power on and off to the uh, head end power. Uh, the head end power is 480 volts, and with these, it'll be like, uh, like say, up to 400 kW. And as a reference, each car runs somewhere between 15 and 18 kW, so we can run a really long train with this setup. All right, we've seen the uh, K19 generator and the control cabinets. All of those have to go somewhere to roll down the track. So what we have is this 1953 Santa Fe Bud baggage car uh, that we've uh, rebuilt. We're in the process of rebuilding. We'll take a tour of that now. We're inside the uh, baggage car now. As you can see, our guys are uh, nailing down the steel plate that we're using. Uh, when we first got this car, the floor was kind of mushy. We took it apart and found out that uh, they had set the floor on fire last time they rebuilt it. So we had to restrip all the floor down to the rafters, put all new wood down, and now we're putting the metal plating down. Uh, we've also replaced several side panels because when they put the fire out, they got water behind the walls and rusted all of the uh, base plates on the uh, steel that meant to the bottom. The layout of this uh, system, we're going to put the generator up here. We got the engine mounts down there. And right here on this whole door is going to be our radiator. So the air that's going to be pulling in through the radiator coming in, this thing's going to be covered with the plenum. Air is going to come down here over the engine and exhaust out the roof. We'll have a doghouse up there so it'll look nice and pretty. Um, so everything will fit on this side, all the heavy stuff's over here. Right behind me on this side will be the cabinets that uh, you saw down with the engine. And we're adding a cabinet for the in-house lighting and electricity. This is the drawing of how they're going to be. We've got the uh, power distribution for the cabinet over here, and then the control cabinet and the power distribution for the head in power over here. Behind me on this wall, we're going to put all of the tools we need for the train. Some heavy stuff that we haven't been carrying with us that if we ever needed, will now go with the train everywhere we go. On this side will just be our workbench and our small tool sets. Back here, we have access to the rest of the cars. And from there, this will be the excess car storage for like the uh, concession car or any place we need that the train needs access to immediate stock. So we'll have shelves in here with all extra stock, drinks, water, whatever we need, and even possibly a freezer. All right, so that's a wrap up of the uh, generator, generator car, and why this is going to be so important to the life of the uh, Austin Scene Train Association and the CONSIS. This will now be our main power, and the Maurice Beckham will be our emergency backup. Anything happens, we always have the Maurice Beckham. We have a backup system, and we have a primary system. That should wrap it up.